Hello, everyone. My name is Eric. I am a Sweet Script coach over at Stoic Software. I'm here today on behalf of Salto to demonstrate what might be some of its most useful, powerful features. We'll do that by simulating the creation, deployment, and promotion of a new set of features through multiple NetSuite environments. We'll look at how Salto can coordinate all these changes, even if the teams making those changes aren't necessarily in direct or constant communication with each other. First, we'll look at how configuration changes made in NetSuite get detected and deployed by Salto. And then we'll see how Salto can integrate directly into a development team's existing workflow by integrating with Git and leveraging pull requests something I hope you developers out there are already using. I think these are incredibly useful, powerful, impactful features for just about any NetSuite team. So let's get into it. When you have separate teams of NetSuite, administrators, power users, developers, all making changes in NetSuite, it can be really difficult to coordinate the deployment and promotion of those changes, but not with Salto. The team in our scenario consists of administrators and developers that aren't necessarily communicating all the time. Maybe the administrators are working for the NetSuite end user while the development work has been outsourced to an external contracting firm. We're working together to release some new features centered around the employee record, and we have three environments in which the changes need to progress. Over here in Salto, our Dev3 environment is our development environment, where changes are initially created and tested by the creators. Dev2 then becomes our testing environment, where completed features are deployed for users to test and give feedback. And lastly, this stoic Test drive environment acts as our production environment where stable, tested, approved features get deployed. For this project, the administrator team is making a new entity field on the employee record, a new save search, which filters on that field, and a new workflow, which references both of those. Uh, meanwhile, the development team is working on a user event script for the employee record, which references the new field as well. The administrators have already added their changes in Dev3, so let's take a look in Salto. Selecting Dev3, I can explore its configuration. Our new field is called Manager Reviewed. It's a checkbox on the employee record, and in the Explore view, I can filter for manager. Right here at the top is our custom entity field, manager reviewed. And inspecting it, I can see its dependencies. I can see that it is used by a workflow, a save search, and also the user event script that the dev team is working on. We've decided that the admin changes are all ready to go up to SB2 for user testing but the user event still needs some work. So let's deploy our admin changes to Dev2. I can go to compare and deploy, click compare and deploy. I can set my source environment to Dev3 and my target environment to Dev2. Here's an option to fetch now. So I'm telling Salto to go get the latest current state of both of these environments before we deploy so that we know we are comparing and working with the current, the actual current state of those environments. I want to select the latest version. I can give my deployment a title. And this could be an issue key or a version number or some other simple descriptor. And what I want to do is give it a little identifier uh, that makes it very easy to recognize later on. And we'll see why that gets really useful uh, more later in the video, but these are employee enhancements. So I'm just going to put a little prefix on here of EE in square brackets and say admin changes for employee enhancements. 
And if I wanted to, I could add a more detailed description, maybe release notes or links to other documentation, design docs, whatever, uh, approval docs, any sort of relevant deployment documentation could be linked or described right here. Uh, lastly, I just click Fetch, Compare, and Deploy. Salto is now showing me all of the differences between Dev3 and Dev2. I don't want to deploy everything. I'm not trying to sync these two environments. I could if I wanted to, but that's not what we're here to do today. I want to find our new field. So I'm going to filter up here in the top right for manager. Here is our custom field. Once I select that, Salto very conveniently tells me right here in line, in context, that there are four other dependencies, four things that are referencing this custom field. I'm going to click on that. And now it brings up the definition of the custom field. I could go through and look at its configuration. But right here at the top, Salto tells me there are four things using this field. Do you want to deploy those as well? And I do. I want to deploy the save search. I want to deploy the workflow. We're not ready to deploy the user event yet. And this is an internal type definition in Salto. We don't need to deploy that. Those are read only anyway. We're now ready to deploy our custom field, save search workflow. So I'm going to click preview deployment. Salto will validate the deployment and then we are ready to push these changes to dev2. Salto has finished its validation of our deployment. It's showing us that our three items, workflow, save search, and entity custom field will all be added to dev2. With that, we're ready to deploy. With our deployment complete, we can now explore dev2 and see if our new elements are there. Filter on manager once again, I can now see, here's my entity custom field. Here is our workflow and the save search. is also here for unreviewed employees. So everything has made it. We have deployed our administrative changes from our development environment to our testing environment. They are now all ready to be user tested. Switching back to Dev3, over on the development side of things, the changes for our user event have already been made and they've been submitted in a pull request or merge request here in GitLab. Over in Salto, the first thing I need to do is integrate my Salto account with my GitLab account. I do that from the bottom left under settings. We can actually see that Salto is already connected to my GitHub account. But to change to GitLab, I'm just going to click GitLab here. My account is a cloud account. I'm going to authorize that connection. And once it works, Salto will show a list of my GitLab repositories that it can see. So it looks like it's working. That's all there is to connecting Salto to our GitLab account. You can see that out of the box, Salto also supports GitHub, Bitbucket, Azure, and under other here, it supports any generic Git repository hosted anywhere on the internet. All you need is the URL and the credentials for that repository. And what Salto will be able to do is look at those repositories and build deployments based on pull requests, which is what we're about to do. We can navigate back to Dev3, compare and deploy. And instead of compare and deploy, we're going to drop down and choose SDF pull request. Click that button. All we need to do now is paste the link to our pull request and set the target environment. Grab this without the diffs at the end here. Our target is dev3. I'll fetch it now and create a deployment. So what Salto is doing is going out to this pull request, looking at the diffs, the files that have been changed, and using those diffs to build a deployment inside of Salto. Okay, our fetch is complete. Salto is showing us the changes from the pull request. I can look into the file that's changing and I can see the actual contents that will change. So 
and come in and, and verify the changes from the pull request have all made it into this Salto deployment. And now we're ready to deploy that to SB3. And here we are with a successful deployment. Now in reality, that deployment may not have actually changed the file in NetSuite in Dev3. Hopefully we already deployed either manually or via SDF to when we were iterating and testing and writing that code before we got to the pull request. However, we still want to create that deployment in Salto because now we can use Salto to promote that same change through our other environments. Looking at our successful deployment, we can now see the Promote button appear near the top. All we need to do is click that, select our target. Just like before, we can tell Salto to fetch right now. We can also narrow down the configuration, what elements get fetched and which ones don't. If we know there are specific items we want to update, just to speed things up. I'm gonna fetch the whole thing again. And just like before, we can give our deployment a title. And what I wanna do is give this one the same prefix as the other one. It's part of the same project. So I wanna be able to quickly identify the deployments that are part of the same project. So we'll just replace admin with dev, dev changes for employee enhancements. And the description auto-populated tells us we are promoting this from dev3 to dev2. With our deployment complete here in Dev2, I should be able to find our new file, not new file, our updated file. I can see our user event script is here, our file is here, and if I check the contents, I should see, if we look at our pull request real quick, I added this new const uh, for the errors. So if that is present, then Dev2 is up to date and our user event is ready for user testing as well. So at this point, we have deployed multiple features to both our development and our user testing environments as part of the same project, even if the work was done separately by different teams. So let's fast forward to the point where our user testing is now complete on all these new features and we are ready to deploy them into production. Despite the fact that these were developed and deployed and tested and verified all separately by different teams, Salto makes it trivial to promote them to production together at exactly the same time. Now in my Dev2 environment, I can go to compare and deploy and see our deployment history. I can quickly see the two from this project because of the prefix I added. We can see we've had some other changes uh, in the middle here that aren't relevant. I simply select the two deployments containing all of our features and I click promote. And this should look very familiar as before. We select the target environment. Now I want them to go up to our production environment. We can fetch that now and I give it a title. Again, recognizable with a prefix and a good description, but that's all we have to do. Now, all of these changes will go together at the exactly the same time into our production environment. Now this time, our deployment actually failed. Uh, during validation, Salto found some missing components. So what's happened here is that the dev team had already deployed the user event and the uh, suite script file for it into the UAT environment previously, but it had never made it to production. And what's missing here, if I go into the file, uh, we're missing the parent folder. Uh, so the folder that this file lives in has never made it to production. It doesn't exist there and it hasn't been part of our deployment. It already existed in Dev3 and Dev2, but it has never made it to production. So Salto caught that for us before we tried to uh, deploy that and got some sort of broken partial state in production. What we can do, click back to selection and we can go find right here, it's highlighted one missing dependency 
I come in here, I select our Salto Demos uh, folder, and I go back, preview the deployment. And what we should see is those errors on dependencies go away. We should see a valid deployment ready to go to production. And there it is, there's our successful validation. It includes the folder now, our user event script, our file, and our three customizations, the employee field, the save search, and the workflow. We are ready to deploy to production. We've marked our production as a sensitive environment, which means just gives us this extra check. There are other uh, rules we can put around that, but it just gives us this extra validation right now. Are you sure? And I am. There is our successful deployment of multiple features made by different teams into production all at exactly the same time. So if you've ever had to manually perform this same thing, a large deployment promoted through multiple environments from multiple sources of changes, I feel your pain, but look how easy Salto made that process. It was trivial. I'm, I'm not even sweating. And it was all driven by selecting a few checkboxes in the Salto UI and pointing Salto to a pull request that I would have hopefully already been making as part of my normal development code review process. And that's it for this one. We are just scratching the surface of what Salto can do for you. If you'd like to check out more, head on over to salto.io where you can request a free 30-day trial as well as a free demo. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.